Ice Box Studios. It's the Sportscast with your host, the sports guru and Bud Knocker. Call the show at 818-435-8423. And follow the show on Twitter at sportscast underscore THN. And now it's the Sportscast. Welcome back to the Sportscast. Yeah, right here for the Ice Box Studios. A special Thursday episode. Yeah, man. The sports cast with my boys the knocker. I'm all out of sorts, man. I don't even know what fucking day it is because my my pattern has been broken. Well, seriously, you a busted man. Yeah, I'm like confused, man. Confused I'm at Johnny's man. house. It's thir- I, that's Thursday. Did I'm- you eat the chocolate? Oh God, no. No, I'm not, not that today. stupid, not bro. That stupid. Back here with Johnny Icebox on the ones and twos. It's coming up. Four twenty. Box, I'll- how you doing? Doing back. good. I'm wearing doing his, good. He's wearing his rugby jersey today. He's got rugby clothes on today. Like Yo, what's up? Boy. Very, very international today. So I uh, want to thank everybody for trying uh, coming in, watching us today live at the new sports Hope That's you got you guys, the word. I hope you got the word out. We sent out you know a couple tweets, uh, Facebooks, all that good stuff. But again, it'll all be on uh, iTunes, so make sure you guys go subscribe to the show as well. You can call the show today, though, live, 818-435-8423, or tweet us at sportscast underscore THN is the number. Um had a good weekend going on so far. A lot going on in sports. We're going to get to, you know, we're going to cover everything in the next hour. A little bit of NFL. We'll go over the NHL which, and, and NBA, which are coming right in the playoff week. So next week's going to be awesome because we're going to have a big uh, NHL and NBA playoff show knocker, which yeah. will be fun to do. Yeah. Uh, good stuff there. And we're, MLB, opening week and baseball. Already a, a lot going on in baseball. Something just went down actually a half an hour ago uh, that we're going to talk about that happened uh, between the Cardinals and the Reds. Really? Between a player and a fan incident. So it's Get out already? Already, third game wow. into it, third, fourth game into the season. And um, what does it say? <laughs> uh, coming on Twitter, they're already hitting the Guru first show. Guru's shirt looks like a th- like he has a big dildo on it. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Does it, Johnny? It's a big blue ball dildo. Does it look like I have a big blue ball, ball dildo? <laughs> yeah, it does. If you're, into the, if you're into that kind of thing, I guess. If I'm into that kind of thing? That's the first thing Proto thinks Turn about. Your, yeah. Mm, what does that say about you, Mr. Proto? <laughs> Just guess. asking. My volume? I think it's it's up all the way. What My does that say about you, Mr. Proto? You yeah, see, seriously. You see a, a dildo there. What, what does that say? Guilty. That's what it says. I'm just asking. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Is there something wrong with my clothing today? I no. think I look. I think I like really cool with my new kids. Yeah, hat. It, it, the kids color coordinated. You know, it's color the bill and the, and the blue right? on the shirt. Yeah, and the black. My eyes. Yeah, I kind of see it a little bit more the more I look exactly. at it. Exactly. <laughs> You know why, Josh? Because when you it's like when one you, of those things where you gotta squint, you gotta squint a little bit. Well, you know what, like, Josh? When, oh, you, yeah. when you move, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Josh, <laughs> I see it a lot now. When you move, your, when you move your shoulders, yeah, it kind of wrinkles the top end where your left yeah. shoulder is. Oh, my left shoulder. And then, okay. it, yeah, yeah, then it looks like a ridge and the way with that the head. The, yeah. yeah, the way the microphone cord like lays. <laughs> <laughs> I got dildo okay. shirt on today. I can see that. Yeah, you see it. <laughs> Lousy, lousy. It kind of looks like a shaft, too. It's got that, yeah, that it like, does, huh? gradient to, to it. Our it fans are like going to say, never comment on sports. It's like, what can I bag <laughs> on on the guru? Or never, what's Knocker saying Never mind, wrong? Proto. Yeah, you're, that's a good call. Yep. Good, good call, call well, right Jeffrey there. Jeffrey On signs in as well on Twitter. Uh, wants to say, you know, ah, oh, Sai, I have to work 6 to 12 tonight. I know, so he's going to catch up on, on the podcast. He's, he's a follower, so he's just sad he can't miss the show live. Oh, hell no, man. Put it put it through the company Johnny, speakers. Johnny, he says you just knocked it out of the park. It's because the mic is right in the way it looks like more than a wang. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm man. just saying. Um, but a busy week for me, man. I know, as everyone knows, I've been tweeting out. I already pushed back the uh, Sportscast Fantasy Baseball draft like twice. It's gonna yeah, be, I it's know. It's going to be this Saturday. We'll, we'll have it at the All Star break. Yeah, this Saturday. At the, <laughs> it's going to be at noon for everybody that's in the league. It's going to be fun time again. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm working once again. We'll have we'll have Giants fan <laughs> draft. draft. Team. Hey, it's you. No, uh, I want Detroit Wildman to draft my team. Oh, once again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm um, putting that on him. But it's been a busy week going on so far. So, um, first of all, what'd you guys do on the weekend? How was yours? I was in Vegas. I watched your kid all weekend. Uh, you did watch my kid. Thank you. And very I much. went to buy all your supplies for oh. your draft. Okay, so it was a wonderful weekend for crazy, me. Crazy, it was a great weekend for me <laughs> overall in Vegas. I won. I won some big money. I mean, I re- I hit every single uh, NCAA game that yeah. I bet on in Vegas. I was on fire. Yeah, I'm sure most baby. of you guys saw me tweet it out. Tweet out a picture of the sports book I was I was at staying at the Venetian. Uh, daddy put me up. Not my daddy, but my other daddy. Yeah, your daddy can't <laughs> afford that shit. Your daddy puts you up at state line with the free buffet. That's how your daddy rolls. I can't play for no $150 with steak. George, with George at the front desk. Yeah. Don't worry, George will take care of you. I can't cover $1,200 I'm re- I'm for really four people. I'm really afraid that other people are going to get confused, though, because you just called him your other daddy. <laughs> and that didn't sound too good. 
Whatever. Maybe maybe you should explain. It's, it's it. not the first. It's my wife's father. I know. Okay. okay. Just, uh, I just okay. want to let people. My make wife's sure. father. Because uh, the way you said it was a little. Mm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. So my other stayed. daddy. <laughs> I'm not hurt. My feelings aren't hurt. Don't be hurt. No. Still love well, no, hurt. no. I just wanted to make sure that nobody thought it was like some gay man that. <laughs> <laughs> Your sugar daddy. With, yeah, his sugar gay daddy man. Ooh. <laughs> I got my sugar gay daddy man in Vegas. <laughs> Venetia, put me up, baby. No, That's you right. went, you why went. you're wearing dicks on your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you guys. It's like the secret code. Johnny's on back a roll. You guys just seriously just Johnny's on a roll, there. just hammering you right now. No, I apologize. Dude. I apologize. Go back. So to like, That's your father-in-law, the owner of Juicy Whip. You're, you're in yeah. Vegas. You went out for your wife's birthday, birthday this yeah, weekend, weekend. Stayed so at the Venetian. My wife and my daughter are born back to back on the 31st, 31st and the first. And the first and it yeah. always comes up at the time of the draft. So this is something like. It's like the league. If anyone's seen that uh, that that show about you know NFL, right. obviously how people are so into their their fantasy leagues. This league means a lot. I pay a lot of jelly beans to be in it. I yes. won it last year, and it means a lot to me. It's it's the one thing I do a year. We get a and lot. You won it last year. That, that's why you had to supply the food I had for to this year, right? For this year, I, I, that's why a, you panicked, huh? Yeah, we have, a, <laughs> we have a real auctioneer that comes down. That I have a pay a guy that comes down and does the auctioning. Like I was panicking, so we're about to leave the the casino. Had a good weekend. Everything's good. Uh, leave about ten o'clock. We're walking down. We check the bags. And then my wife's like, oh, I want to play some games. I'm not done. I have like a couple, I have couple more. I have some more. I have like, I have like 100 bucks. I just want to put it in this machine. Stupid. So we put it in the machine. Sounds I'm like, like all wife. right. So that means I got to play because I just can't sit there. So I sit at the machine and I start winning a little bit of money. So I lose track of time. Next thing you know, we sit in there for two hours. <laughs> it's now noon. It's now noon. We're going outside. And it's packed. And you called me at 10. Yeah. Oh, we're leaving. Yeah. We're leaving, Dad. I told you. I we're leaving. We'll pick Penny up. Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll pick Penny up at 1.30. No problem. We'll be there. You are one pathetic loser. I know. So I'm trying to get a hotel. So the, and there's, like, we go up to the valet. He's like, <laughs> it's going to be about 45 minutes. I'm like, you're fucking kidding. To get it's my four, car? This is how packed it is. Because it's NCAA weekend. Right. And so my wife comes up. She's got her little booby shirt on. And so she's like, can I give you $20? Can you get our car? You know, twenty bucks in a motorboat. Yeah, it does like a little, you know, the squeeze. He's yeah. like, you know, money gets you anything. In Vegas. <laughs> She's like, go get the car. He takes the twenty. He takes the twenty. Goes gets Isn't the car. Isn't that awesome? So, okay, so we get out. So we're like, all right, we okay, should we'll, pass we'll that. be okay. We'll we're be on okay. the road. We get on the freeway right away. Boom! Stop traffic. Fifteen people dead in some kind of like it was a high wind that that yeah, weekend. Semi, yeah. you know, semi truck fell over. Wind. Took us two hours to get to state line. I'm just bad out of hell trying to get home. Get there by six thirty. Do the draft at six thirty. Get there. They hold it until six thirty. Do the draft, get home at midnight, been going, have my daughter's birthday the next day, woke up, have my, my wife's birthday on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. I haven't had a chance to shave, shower, shit. I haven't been able to do anything the last four days. It's been, oh, my phone is on. That's not very good. No, I'm not going to answer the phone call. No, I'm not going to answer the phone call. <laughs> That's one I should not take on the show. Um, so I had an eventful weekend. Though. I'm glad to be here back. What did you, bo- you boys do? I watched your child. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't have an eventful weekend. Johnny, do you know anything better than <laughs> the knocker? I did arts and crafts. <laughs> I did arts and crafts. So it was slightly better. Wow. Wow. Did you make the bracelet that jo- Josh is wearing? No. Is I that one I like Mark Sanchez. What's the, what's the bracelet? The bracelet. I'm wearing, it's for my daughter. She made it for her. She's, this new craze right now. These, these little oh, no, rubber I know band, all about it. These little rubber bands. I know things, all okay? about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like little rubber bands that you put on braces almost. Yeah. Like that little. Grandpa, the, can you hold this? Grandpa, she can you this hold thing. this? People, these kids at school now. This is the new craze. My yeah. daughter's in like kindergarten and first grade. She's going to first grade. Everyone's making for each other. Like, oh, I gave one to Jackson today. He gave me like three. And she has a sleeve. Like, daughter has a sleeve of rubber bands. And she thinks she's the coolest thing in the yep. world. Like, you said tattoos. That sounds dangerous, man. It, I'm telling you. I'm about to take She's like the popular one? Yeah, with she's the, like the, the bracelets? Yeah, it's like, you know what you're that the means? slut of the kid. Yeah. Like, oh, I got one from Nathan. No, she's the Nathan slut of the rubber bands. Me. Yeah. Rubber band bracelets. Rubber band bracelet slut. I got it. Yeah, I got to watch that, gotta girl. got to watch she, that, man. Yeah. But you know what she's talking about, Narber. Oh, no, I was sitting at the dining room table. Grandpa, can you hold this? I'm holding the, 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 the rubber band so she can put the little other one on there with the little stick. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like making a... Um, it's like knitting. Yeah, it's knitting. You have but a rubber band. stick, yes. and, and you put the guy the who made this is a genius. He's making millions of dollars, isn't he? For little freaking yeah. rubber making bands. Rubber band bracelets. But yeah, I know all about it. Yeah. Seriously, it was fun. It was real fun. I'm telling you, it was awesome. It's a all great right. time. Well, let's let's get back to more manly things on this show. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh, I got the music. Chubby, chub, chubby time. Chubby time. I'm so ready, man. We got a tweet. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry because I don't remember who I got the tweet from, but he was, he tweeted out nine days away 
from Oklahoma's spring opener. I mean, it's it's there. It's right around. Yeah. I can smell yeah. college football. I can smell it, man. But I'm telling you, football never dies. Football never dies. Nope. Not at all. We're back here. Big move this past, uh, actually yesterday, coming down. Deshaun Jackson. Yeah. Moving teams, staying in the same division, which is yeah. going to be absolutely interesting. Very. Heading to Washington, D.C. Going to be playing for the Redskins mm -hmm. with RG3. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, it's not, this isn't just a regular sign because what happened with the Eagles here, stories are coming down. You can check it out at newsportsguru.com. Deshaun Jackson, supposedly, ever since this Aaron Hernandez thing has come down, the right. NFL has taken a completely different look into players' lives. Not 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 to say they weren't in it before, but now it's okay. Yeah, we're but find I still out. think they're selective on who they're bitching at and who they're not. I agree, but Deshaun Jackson signs a three-year deal with the Washington Redskins. Um, now, what's behind Deshaun Jackson? The reason the Philadelphia Eagles supposedly let him go, or the main reason, was that he had some gang affiliations. Right. And uh, this guy grew up, uh, I believe, in California. I believe he went to Long Beach. I'm not sure about yeah, that. Yeah, Long Beach Poly, yeah, Long Beach and then Poly, he went right? to Cal. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then he went to Cal. So he's, I guess, even during his high school days, as we know, that area. Sure. Little, there's a lot of gangs. Sure. In that you can't area. get away from it. Can't get away from it. But is this a reason? To throw away, to not throw away, but to let go your best receiver last year who had a career year. Last year, he's coming off a 1,300-yard season. Um, nine touchdowns, just if you If you want my opinion, if you want my opinion, I think, top it's, NFC I, East. I think it's a couple of things. Uh, I, I think, you know, like not last year, not so much last year, but the year before, some off-field antics, um, the rap record, yeah. um, you know, doing some other things, getting hurt two out of the last three years. Um, I don't think he got along with, with Chip Kelly. And I think Chip Kelly is just, you know, hey, man, I don't just don't want to deal with this guy. So let him go. I, yeah. I don't care. I, in my offense, I don't I don't need him. I'll get somebody else. But, but, but I don't need distractions. I think that's exactly what, what why he was let go. Distractions, just, really? Distraction, yes. Well, like, why are you signing one of your biggest distractions you had in the last two years, uh, Riley, to a multi-year contract when you're going to say the biggest reason you're going to let go of Deshaun Jackson is because he has some – a little bit of ties of gang affiliation. You don't even know what that is. That's so mm -hmm. broad that right. you don't even know what that is. Mm -hmm. Because the guy had, you know, rolled around, had some play, some homies in the hood when he played right. in high school. Mm -hmm. So now you got time to him. I understand that, but is that a reason to let your best player go when you just signed a guy that dropped the N word? Well, he did drop the N word. I I'll give you that. He dropped the N word and he apologized and he was he was on his best behavior the rest it's of the year. It's a double year. standard. It may be. We're going to let a guy go that has somewhat of gang affiliations, but we'll keep the guy that dropped the N-word because he apologized but he dropped, and he's white. he dropped the N-word, and then he towed the line. He, you, you, you didn't hear anything you else. Don't, you don't see any race card played in this. <sighs> maybe. And so is, is it, not, uh, is it maybe. not just happened to be that Riley Cooper is white and we'll forgive him, we'll let the black gangster go? No, because I'm not in the locker room. I don't know everything that Deja Deshaun Jackson is doing on the practice field. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, you know, I don't know if he's not hustling. I don't know if he's falling asleep in meetings. I don't know the whole thing. So I'm not going to drop the race card on it. What I do know is Riley Cooper immediately apologized and nothing else happened in the rest of the year. There was no other negative anything. And you know the press was looking for anything to build this story up and make him look bad. And it wasn't there. And he played the whole year. Okay. Well, some of the veterans are upset on the Eagles, saying, "You let our best player go here." I'm sure they are. Yeah, he had some, you know, off the field stuff, antics, on the field antics, some problems I'm with sure the they coach. Are. Yeah, but really, I think I, it could be money. They just weren't going to pay him the money that he wanted. And you know, Deshaun Jackson now going wants to stay, wanted to stay in conference because he had some visits with some other sure, teams. Sure, sure. Could have gone. Yeah, the somewhere Chiefs else. aren't liking him a whole yeah, lot the right Chiefs now. Aren't liking, exactly. <laughs> Chiefs have gotten burned on a couple yeah, of transactions have. this off season. Like, yeah, yeah. They have. It's Kansas City. I don't know if I want to go there, right. but Deshaun Jackson going to go to the Redskins now. He's going to play his, oh, his, his team twice yeah, well, a year. Good for him, man. I I, I think it's great How do you for think him. He does I well, the 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 problem is, you know, who's our quarterback? Is RG three actually ever or going Kirk to be healthy Cousins? enough? You know, and 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 Kirk Cousins. Uh, that's that's the big problem with the Redskins. You don't know who the quarterback's going to be. But one thing out of all this other crap that's out there, you cannot deny the fact that Deshaun Jackson is a game changer. If he's on the field and he's healthy, returning punts, 
or the deep threat. He is a game changer, and the Redskins did not have one prior to signing him. I think it's a so total for the Redskins, bogus attempt by an organization to say why they're getting rid of a player. Every single player, I'm sorry to say, in the NFL probably has some sort of gang affiliation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm generalizing there, but if you broke down the numbers, everybody – the NFL is made up from a lot of players that come from broken homes or, or lower or class. In the hood. Or lower in yeah, the hood. Yeah, they, they grow up in the hoods, yeah. So don't tell me that this is the reason you're letting him go, but we're going to sign the white guy that dropped the N-word because he apologized. No, I, I think— I don't, I, it's, just, it's just totally bogus by the Eagles. I think it's going to be—I think it's just bad PR, first of all, and I think it's just don't make me as a fan stupid. Right. Like, don't I, tell I me think some stupid reason. I think it's just using that as an excuse that Chip Kelly just didn't want him. For some reason, didn't like him. Didn't get along. I need the guy gone and let you know this is the way we're gonna go. And they let him go, you know. But yeah. he got his money. You know what's he crying about? Well, he got his money. I've got and... one question. What would Johnny do? Bring it on, Johnny. What would you do for the Eagles, man? Guys got gang affiliations. You got Riley Cooper though, who dropped the N word. You signed him back to you know multi-year contract. I don't know if it has anything to do with the gang affiliations because they, I mean, they obviously still. They've come out and stated, though, that know, that's why. I know, I know, but they've, it, you know, I mean, they brought on Michael Vick, too. I mean, that's, hey, thank you. you know, if you want to talk about, you know, having morals or anything like ethics that. Or, behind you know, it, ethics behind right. Ethics behind it, then it's, you know, it's that. I think we should be more talking about how the Redskins are now going to take advantage of this. I mean, I think that Deshaun Jackson is probably going to be a key player. Yeah. I think that in the offseason, is probably going to have Kirk Cousins and, uh, RG3, both working with him to see, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, this is a this is a stud receiver. So a, there's, no denying, guy, yeah. there's no denying his talent. Yeah. yeah. We've seen yeah. him. We've seen the play against the Giants that got them to the playoffs where he burned him on the kickoff oh, yeah. return. We've seen the play last year against, against doing, the Redskins. He's been doing he wonderful him. things since he got into the league. I, and I think so it's, it's got to be a personality think, thing. And I think that yeah. what, make, what makes coaches good is guys that coaches that can handle guys like Deshaun Jackson. Mm -hmm. They can handle the talent with the little because let's get let's face it. Knockers are prima donna because he is a wide receiver. Most wide receivers are prima donnas. He's super yeah, I see that. I see that. You know, you totally see that knocker. He's a total like just. I mean, I think it's, I think it's money. I think it's money. Also, they didn't want to commit that kind of money to him. They think they can replace him. But why, in that offense? But be be the know how to coach with guys. That's what made Joe Torre so great with the Yankees. Know how to coach those players and get the best out of those players, sure. even though they're prima donnas. But like, that's that's why I think there's things that we don't know about. They're just this, yeah. you know. We don't know about. It's got to be money. This is just a gelling thing. I think it's a gelling thing with the team. He's just I think not so. gelling. I agree. Exactly. Right I think that's a big yeah. part and of I it think as well. Kelly wants to go just and wanted, win, yeah, yeah, he wants to go and win championships. Okay. He believes he's that type of player. And I agree that that's the reason. So, Eagles, don't be bullshit and say you're dropping him because of gang affiliation. Well, that's just been doctors, just, man. You know, yeah. That's just been yeah, doctors. Yeah, so, yeah, definitely. Fair. So, all right here. So coming in on Twitter. Well, I, like, says, I like what Proto. Oh, I'm sorry. No, go Go ahead. He says, well, who the hell are the Eagles going to throw to now? Don't draft McCoy next year to fantasy. That's a damn good point because yeah. now the focus of the defense is the now yeah. on on Shady McCoy. Yeah, right. So that's a good point, Proto. You know, hey, you must not be totally I mean, wasted I mean, right I, now. I mean, I know Riley Cooper's a good slot receiver, but it's not the same. It's not the it's same. Not the same. You got to have a deep threat and, like Deshaun Jackson. And you were Jackson. getting big points with you know with the punt returns and, and the long passes with him, and now that's gone. And now, yeah, definitely yeah. the best offensive player they have now is. McCoy. No, I agree. So um, I mean, who knows? Maybe there was something that somebody figured out. Like he's friends with somebody on Facebook who happens to be in a gang, sure. and you know, well, like, I, I, I'm, I'm with that Josh, could though. be possible. But I just don't think I'm so. with Josh. It's just an excuse to get him rid of rid of him for some other reason. Yeah, you, just, you just can't say, "Hey, this guy's not good in the locker room." You just can't drop that kind of talent. You can't drop that on him. So, all right, uh, a couple things here coming in the NFL. Uh, a couple of bonehead stories here, Knocker. Uh, before just we get a couple. To, before we get to break, yeah. Um, and it's come from the two teams you probably would uh, – one team at least you expected from, the Bengals. Cowboys? Oh, no, the Bengals. Oh. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. We just let go of really good players and sign Brandon Whedon. That's all what we do as a Cowboys. Dude, you are, guys are set now. You guys are set with Brandon Whedon on your team. Dude. Is it bad that, like, I've really thought over this past <laughs> offseason because I got hurt so much last season, burning the jersey and everything, that I kind of want to change a team in a way, but I can't do it. Like, But I've had that thought. Like it's like almost like where you kind of think about cheating on your wife, but you just you know you're never gonna do it. You're never gonna do it, but you always have the fantasy of like, oh, you know what? Just what if I, oh, you know, or just. Oh. Wow. As I eat these wonderful onion rings on air, they're fantastic. But really, 
I've had some thoughts about changing and feeling bad about it. But what what would I go with? I don't think I can answer that question on here. <laughs> <laughs> I might get I'm gonna get a bunch of crap for that if I answer that on here. As long as it's, it's not Denver, Steelers. don't it's go Steelers. Denver. I'm you not. punk ass, you're not going Denver. No, I'm going Seattle. Oh, oh, oh you're I'm a little going with my bitch. Boy, Moots and Lars. I'm you're going a, oh yeah. Well, they just won the championship, so I'll go with that. Yo, yo, that's the definition of bandwagon pussy, right there. Pussy, yeah, pussy, that's pussy, definition pussy, of bandwagon. Pussy, 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 pussy. Jesus. I'm glad you have a penis on your shirt, <laughs> you cock. Pussy. Well, tell him to suck my balls. You've got not ball one. Man. I never said it was changing, but I've had fantasies about being okay. a Seahawks Well, I liked the Cowboys in the 90s, yeah, but they're, now that they're not winning championships, I'll think I'll go with the Seattle Seahawks. It's guys. not about them not winning championships, but Jerry Jones is going to die for a long time. I'm going to have to suffer. How do you know? He might just die tomorrow, what, man. What did, what did Lawrence and, and, and Moot tell you, like, Russell Wilson's balls taste really good? <laughs> oh, right. And you were like, oh, I got to taste his balls? Dude, oh, I'm, no, I'm no way proud of you being my yeah, son right now. Oh, Russ? That's, just, that's messed up. Yeah. That's, oh, Russ? That's messed up. That's like sad, No, but bro. I haven't done it. I haven't done it, so I haven't cheated. I can't mentally cheat. fact you're thinking so about like, it. You've sinned in your mind. But I do that every like time. Like Jimmy Carter. I've lost it. I've sinned bro. in my mind. But I, I sin in my mind every two days in the shower. I mean, that's no just, shit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> But is that bad? Like, I've had fantasies of, of you can't being part of that 12th no. man because my team sucks. No. If I'm still a Rams fan, you have to stay no, with the Cowboys. You haven't. You went off. You went off. You cheated for five or six years. Uh, no, I didn't cheat who'd for you anybody. Cheat with? He, who'd you cheat with? I just cheated. I, no, I was abstinent. I was celibate you for all those years. No. No, you had to have rooted for somebody. Well, my Trojans, but I grew up being a Trojan fan. So you, when you watched the NFL, no, 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 no. You no, had no, no. to We're have rooted. We're talking Yes, you had to have rooted for some team. No, I didn't. I just watched the game. The Raiders? No, I really. I, you cheated. Well, you no, I was... I, I've, Chargers. I was, I was, was it the Chargers? <laughs> I've been a Raiders fan since. Was 68. it the Cardinals? They're close. Still. I've been a Rams and Raiders fan since '68. Oh, oh, so you're throwing Raiders in there? Oh, so yes. you're th- okay, he yeah. did cheat then. He went back to the Raiders. No, I love the Oakland years. Raiders, the original Oakland Raiders. Daryl LaMonica okay. and, and Cliff Branch and. Well, I feel bad. I feel and, like I cheated know, on all and my and Cowboys Nation, and all those guys. Yeah. I've never wavered. I've never said this is my team, other okay. than the Raiders and the Rams. And when you guys made me choose, who did I choose? The Rams. Rams. Okay. But okay. So, the Rams right. are my team, and I'm not going away just because let me, let me they haven't you. won. Go ahead, Johnny. Go ahead. What? How long ask is it going to take you to get over being a Rams fan? Like when you? When no, you, no, no, no. Like I was. How many never... years were you like? It's you know what? I'm just going to hold no, off Johnny, on being a fan. Ten years for right now. Ten years. No, Johnny. I, I, I don't lie. You have no, to understand. I know that you still are. I, you have to understand. I was a. I lived and died with my Rams. I, I lived you. and died no, with my Roman didn't, Gabriel. You didn't because Jack, you left Jack, it for 10 years. Johnny never know. left the Steelers. No, I was in hiatus because that bitch took my team. I know, but that's what I'm saying. That's the what I'm saying. The bitch took my team. So after the team left. But I was left, a closet Rams fan. So after the team left, right. how many years did it take you before you were like, I'm oh, back I'm gonna in give, this. Yeah, no, I'm going to give I'm gonna give you up. I'm going to give you up. I never did. I, be- I, I was I was a closet so Rams fan. I still away. followed my Rams. They're, they're my Rams. I know you still follow, but, but I not didn't die overt- You're not as diehard no, if, not. as if they were in LA still. Oh God, no. no. No, I know that's what I'm saying. So if, let me ask you: if if the Steelers moved to Des Moines, Iowa, okay? Don't. Damn, that would never, suck. Never you would still. Well, no, I'm just asking. Yeah. If if they would moved you still your like them team, as much? it would be different for you because they're not. The Pittsburgh Steelers anymore. It's not the same no, team. I, I, They're wearing the same colors. I know, and it's know. still my team. But I'm not going to be. But that's what I'm saying. As do, intense well, do about I, it. Do I? Am I still a fan for like a year? Am I still a fan for five? No, years? No, you're going to be a fan. You're just not going to be the fan. That's that, what I was asking you when it happened to you. Were you still a fan for the? Next I was year? still a fan, but I wasn't the fan that's going to that's going to that's going to okay. put my bathroom in Rams colors, yeah. or that's going to that's yeah, going to yeah, put yeah. put a sticker Johnny. on my Rams car. <laughs> yeah. I'm still a fan, but I'm not going to yeah. give that bitch the satisfaction of of her yeah. knowing that I'm still buying that shit and I'm still a diehard fan. I no, got you. no, I'm a yeah. closet fan you. because you took my fucking team. Yeah. I got you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but, I agree. But, right. but I've never, I've never switched allegiance. I've never said, okay, I'm not here, a Rams fan anymore. Here, this could be real. If you trade teams, you curse them for many years. So don't change to my Niners. That's what Proto says. I'm, if I go to so if you go to a team, you curse them. Go to the Niners then. If I go to the Seahawks, I'm taking down the Seahawks. 
You're not going to change the Cowboys. I'm not going the to. But I've had are, fantasies. I've the had Seahawks fantasies. already wrecked themselves for next year anyways yeah. because they won the Super Bowl this year. I know. I know. But I still – if that's the team I could cheat on, I probably would I cheat I will have on. no respect for you if you cheat. change teams. Sorry. <laughs> I, won't, I won't. You don't have any – really? I, I won't. No. All right. Well, let's get a couple of these guys. Bonehead of the week. Easiest segment on the show. Easiest. Here we go. Bengals tied in Orson Charles arrested for wanton. Endangerment want is almost wanton. I think everyone says W A N T O N wanton endangerment involving road rage and a handgun. Uh, just when the Bengals, you think they're you know turning it around, another one gets in trouble. It says here Charles was stopped God. by Richmond police on Interstate 75 after a complaint was called in by another driver. The other driver indicated to the police that Charles brandished a firearm in his direction several times while driving down the highway, sometime just before 8 p.m. Wow. Knocker, he's out at a pretty reasonable hour. Yeah, at 8 PM. he's at, he's at he white people hours. That, yeah, he must have that day drinking <laughs> going on. He's at white people hours. At some point, Charles allegedly cut off the other driver. When police arrived and did a search of Charles' car, a Smith & Wesson semi-automatic handgun was found in the wow. purse. In a purse. A purse. Now, now, it doesn't say if he was accompanied it's by anybody. It's a satchel, not a purse. Why does the man have the purse? Well, what does the guy say in, in, in um, Hangover? That's yeah, a satchel. It's a satchel. Yeah. Watch out, there's Skittles in there. <laughs> there's Skittles in there. <laughs> <laughs> the best part of the movie. Did you see him saying that to the cop? Yeah. Watch that, say, man. Watch out, there's Skittles in there. There's sour Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> well, last year, Charles was a fourth-round pick by the Bengals 2012. Now, let me ask you this. From Georgia, he had 29 games, two seasons, uh, caught nine passes for 109 yards. So it wasn't a big part, but again, Bengals, bad news Bengals. Now, let me ask you this. The coach. Right, Marvin Lewis. He was the coach when Ray Lewis got into this shit in in Baltimore. Correct. What does this say about him? All these problems that the Bengals are having and the arrests and all this crap. I mean, is he like Barry Switzer? Of the pros? Is he allowing this? Is this is this the kind of atmosphere he creates? It's, 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 you can't say allow because he doesn't allow. You can't allow grown men to do whatever they want outside. But, but he like, knows, I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm not your mother. I have a feeling, though, he knows the character and he doesn't care. He just wants to win. He doesn't care. You've seen how a know? lot of coaches look at fucking Bill Belichick and the and the and the mighty Patriots are supposed to look at who, all their players. They knew about some of the stuff that Hernandez yeah. got into, but yeah. you know what they wanted to do? They wanted to win with Gronk Gronkowski Gronkowski. But the Bengals, the Bengals just it just seems to keep happening to the That's Bengals. What I'm saying. You know, um, um, this is something that their ownership's just gonna have to look, look at. But, but to me, if, if you know, if if he doesn't get to the AFC Championship game this year, yeah, th- he's fired. Yeah. What do you think? It just seems like he's going to get fired every year. I don't know until it happens. I don't see him going anywhere. You know what I mean? It's like every year like you Billy think Martin. Martin. Yeah, it's like every year you think he's gone, but he stays. But last year in Bonehead of the Week, uh, Chris Culver, 49ers quarter, uh, cornerback, oh arrested God, this for guy. a hit and run after threatening a witness with brass this knuckles. This guy was thuggish, man. Brass knuckles over here. Uh, according to the San Jose police, they received a call around 1021 a.m. Now, these guys are just broad daylight road raging here. Um, and somebody that, followed him. Yeah, reporting that a it's bike awesome. list had been struck by a car that had fled the scene uh, near uh, near road in San Jose. An eyewitness saw the accident, followed Culver's vehicle right. until he unco- uh, uh, until he cornered him in an area uh, in Meckler Court. He attempted to block Culver's vehicle from leaving. Authorities said Culver got out of his car, threatened the witness with mm-hmm. brass knuckles, and then got back into his vehicle and fled. Uh, in the process, he struck the eyewitness's car. This guy. <laughs> I don't get it, dude. I, 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 I seriously, just, you're an NFL. I, Twenty like, years ago, I I could get. How do these guys get to become an NFL player being this stupid? Like I don't get it. Because they run four six, can jump. You know, the vertical leap is this, and you know they're they're a shutdown. And why do you have fucking brass knuckles in your car? I'm not going there. I'm not playing the race card, bro. I'm just not gonna. Okay, play we won't it. go there. I'm just not gonna play. <laughs> All it, but, right. But was it a gun? No brass knuckles. No brass knuckles. I know, so it's a lot better than a gun, I guess you could say. In this well, the gun was in the glove compartment. He just I didn't bring it out. <laughs> <laughs> right? You know the glove. The Mac was in the glove compartment. You know he just didn't bring it he out. He didn't bust it out. He, there was a little white boy following yeah, him. Like, I don't need oh, the I'll Mac. Just put the knuckles on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, most of the time these guys got you know weaponry. I'm DS telling you. In these cars. But why are you? Come on, guys. Why are you doing yeah, like, this? Have a nice day, douchebag. Seriously. But why are they doing this? I don't I, get it, I, man. I'm just. Just come on. You guys are boneheads. You guys it always will be so boneheads. It makes me so sad. Why are you doing this, man? You fought so hard yeah. to get out of whatever you were in. 
and you're just going back to it. I don't I get it. I agree. All right, guys, we're going to get to break. That's been our boneheads of the week. Check them out at thenewsportsguru.com. And also, uh, make sure you guys become a VIP today, guys. We're going to get out our NBA and NHL playoff picks. Mm-hmm. Give you guys some winners. We're going to kill it this year. Me and Nock have been studying up hard. But when we get back, we're going to get into some MLB opening day. we got some uh, Mike Trout going yard. <laughs> Also, with Yasiel Puig going yard as well. And an incident that happened today at the Cardinals-Reds game where a <laughs> fan was pushed by a player going for a whoa, foul ball. Whoa, whoa, we'll whoa, get into that whoa. more. And Sidney hey. Crosby going rock style. He made the rock bottom! He made the rock bottom. He is done. Mr. Intelligent chimes in. Did Knocker just say white people hours? <laughs> Laugh out loud. Hilarious. Watch live now. That's right. At the Icebox Studios. There we go. We'll be back <laughs> right after this. Central 
second sportscast, dance party. Knocker's dance party going on. You're be watching live right now at the newsportscrew.com. Johnny on the ones and twos throwing down the beats. Make sure you guys check out a new icebox. It's nice at 7.30 at luckyicebox.com. Make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel as well. Uh, we just He just put out the first season of the icebox. I believe 10 episodes are out at luckyicebox.com. Make sure you guys listen to all those. They are... An adventure, to say the least. I listened to the uh, first... Uh, a full season? I don't even know if that's a full season. That's a full season. Well, okay, well, half a, a half a season, I guess. Ten, ten episodes, though. Um, and they are great entertainment. I was cracking up listening today because I can't remember half the stuff we said in those shows. You go back and you listen to it. It's fantastic. But luckyicebox.com. Make sure you guys check it out today. Um, all right, guys. We're going to get to Shot of the Week Award brought to you by PWCI Construction. Check them out at pwconstructioninc.com. They are the fish sponsor of the Shot of the Week Award. They always have been, always will be. Sonny Marshall, we will see you in the playoffs. Knocker has just informed me yeah, that the Ducks baby. and the Kings are just pretty much locked They're to play locked each in. other they in are the first locked round. In. Yeah. So we're going to get into our hockey coverage next week, which would be awesome. Knocker, that's me fucking, we're going to a game. It's awesome. Okay. Yeah. We'll, uh, take, uh, it, we'll uh, take it out of the sportscast fund, VIPs. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please sign up today and donate yeah, so we probably. can go. Really, really. Please, please donate. Save our show so yeah. we can go to the game. Yeah, exactly. But hopefully, <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get to a game. We're definitely going to get to a game. That's going to be awesome, though. You, 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 the rest of the country, you don't understand, man. The Ducks have been here 20 years, and, and, and they've only once qualified for the well, playoffs we're getting in to the my same shot. year. My shot right now is going to be for the Kings. Los Angeles Kings getting locked up the playoffs last night. Okay. Did I take yours? Did I take no, yours? No, okay. no, not Mine's at all. for the Kings. I think they had the best week overall. Obviously, if you lock up a playoff spot, you're in. You're good to go. Also want to give a... We should all just do a shot. Fort Hood. Everybody was involved oh, in Fort Hood oh, this yeah. week. Yep. Yep. My shot goodness. for everybody, all the yep. soldiers. You guys, I love you guys. We've met a lot of you guys out there. We're, we're big with the Army, especially the Colonel. I yeah. know that shocked you as well. And he's uh, right he out there. A, yeah, he yeah. sent a tweet as yeah. well out. So everybody at Fort Hood is shot just up. Just horrible. To all the soldiers, you know, the supports. Let us do what me and Bud Knocker and Johnny do here uh, each and every week for you guys. So we appreciate it. Yes. All right, Knocker, I'm going to throw it to you. What, what, what's up with your shot? Oh, this hurts so bad. This is this is the most painful Shot of the week that, that I've put out in the three years that we've done this show. But I've said from day one, I'm going to be honest. I have to do what I have to do. And, and the truth is the truth. I will always speak the truth. The Seattle Mariners have had the best week of anybody in Major League Baseball. They came down and they just bitch, bitch, bitch slapped the high price. Yeah, you know what, Angels? Johnny, you didn't have me up. I was ready for it. I'm sorry. Oh, excuse me? Okay, here. No crying. No way, Angels. There's no crying in baseball. Johnny, you didn't have me up. <laughs> Get me up, Johnny. Get me up. That was radio worth watching right there to see me and Knocker both go. <laughs> <like color. laughs> but the Seattle Mariners just put a bitch just ass tweeted that out, whipping. So. You know, and, I, yeah. and I, I'm, I'm honest. They had the best week, man. And the most Mariners, of the time, if we talk about the Mariners. Oh, my God. Like, who exactly. the hell I mean, really, cares? Exactly. No right now, cares. take a picture. They're in first place. Take they're not going to end up trust there. Trust me. Proto tweets went out right? like every day about how they're in first but place. But the dude last night, the left-hander, I can't remember. Was like Blanch Blanchard or something like that? Yeah. He he was just mowing them down like the angels sinned. Yeah. He, he, just, he was just also, unbelievable say, last for, night. Also, uh, got Mr. Awesome's Astros. Taking it to the Yankees. The They're taking it to the Yankees, man. <laughs> Whatever. Taking Yankees. it to the Yankees. All right, so your shot's up for the Mariners. My shot up for the Mariners for the sweep in Anaheim okay. um, of the Angels. All right, Johnny Box. Um, Mine's actually kind of like a week old, and I meant to do it last week, but I didn't. Okay. Um, Me too. <laughs> God, I meant to do <laughs> I it. forgot going, to do it. My shot's going to Ben Roethlisberger for oh the birth of his God. daughter. God. The birth of his daughter. Congratulations, Ben. Shots for you. Fucking next. You, you are the most myopic person I've ever met, Johnny. I'm sorry, but whatever. Next. You okay. are one pathetic loser. Ben, you're the man. <laughs> wow, man. I like Mark Sanchez. <laughs> hey, can we get you Ben on the it. show? You deserved it. Can we get Ben on the show? We can try. Give him, give him a call. You're in his shorts every week. Let's we'll see if you can get him on it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have no idea what to say to him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You'd just be starstruck, huh? Uh, it's Ben. Hey, Ben. It's, you're bigger in real life, even. Hey, Ben. <laughs> you just see Ben. He's like, wow. He's out of there. Well, now I know why they call you yeah. Big Ben. 
kind of thinking maybe we shouldn't have him do shot of the week. Seriously, anymore, that's just it seems so like old. For Pittsburgh, yeah, this is every that. week, man. Right, Whatever. P- P- PW Sack Construction. I'll, yeah. I'll give one. I'll give one for my dad too. My dad. <laughs> Okay. I had I had uh, Does that a lot to do of, something with him liking the Pittsburgh Penguins or I, something. I had a lot of dental surgery done uh, this past week, and he allowed me to put it on his credit card. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yes. So, Thank you, right. Daddy. Thanks, Daddy. Yeah. That's right. awesome. Cheers up to da- see. That's a good shot. It's better than. Yeah, but don't finger. tell people in doing that you just screwed your wife out of her patient for her dental hygienist yeah, final she, next she just year, said, right? No, she no asked, I didn't get a cleaning. <laughs> I didn't get a she cleaning. just asked me right now. She's like. Don't floss her. Like, Do you have any dental <laughs> work? She? She's like, yeah. Have you any dental don't work, Josh? Floss. Like, yeah. I was like, uh, no. I've actually I've never had braces or anything. Yes. She's like, okay. Don't floss. Don't clean your teeth. Brush every third You're my day. My patient for my final. <laughs> yeah. I was like, great. My wife will love that. Stinky mouth. Right? All right. To the Mariners. Up. Oh yeah. Ah. Uh, oh, that is so good. God, I love that. Johnny, you have my NCAA music. Minnesota one, Chicago one at the end of two. You got that? Yeah. Part? Yeah, baby. There you go. Jeez. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Final four. Oh, there we go. DJ Coco. Yeah. Ah, uh, March Madness. I was there in Vegas. It was fantastic. Is there, is there not anything? Awesome. Is it not like a Super Bowl it every is. night? It really is. It's awesome. The it crowd, truly is. is cool. I mean, it it was gets the better the every time. single year. Here we now, go. Now, I tweeted out. I'm an old dude, right? I tweeted out. I have, four, watched, I have watched every NCAA tournament since 1967. Yeah. I have. And they, these were the best four games presented by the NCAA in the history of this tournament. Every freaking game freaking rocked, I man. Agree. They well, were we just got fantastic. four teams left. Again, it was fantastic. I'm sad that my Michigan went down, my Michigan Wolverines. Uh, again, from my other side of the family. But it was a great game. Um, but we got a Final Four set yes. knocker. Go Kentucky. Yes. Wisconsin. Florida. And UConn. Mm-hmm. Number seven, UConn. Now, biggest surprise team in there is is who to you? <sighs> biggest surprise team to me probably in there has got to be UConn. Okay. Kentucky, like... That's why, like, when Kentucky beat Michigan, it it was like, oh, shit, we got beat by a number eight team. Kentucky was the number one rated team exactly. going into this the year. Exactly. This is the way they were supposed and to John play Calipari, at the beginning of the year. This might be his best coaching season ever. Yes. To get what he's gotten out of these guys to be where he is right now, just absolutely unbelievable. So, Knocker, who you got in the first games up here? Who's playing who? Uh, I believe we got, we got Florida playing Kentucky. Uh, is it Florida against UConn? You tell me. Florida against UConn. Uh, yes, Florida against UConn. Oh, I'm going Florida. You got to go Florida. On, I got to check on that real quick. Hang on. Let me check. Dead air. Dead it's air. Okay. Dead air. Gators, 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 Yeah, Gators, Florida Gators. against UConn. There yeah. we go. You got to go Florida. At 6 o'clock. You're going uh, Florida. Number one, Florida against number seven, UConn. Shabazz Napier been absolutely unbelievable. A beast. But it stops here. My boy, Wilbekin. Love that kid. God, isn't it great? Florida. And you know what? I, what I love is his story. I love his story. Love this you guy. Know Billy, love that little white guy. Well, you know Billy Donovan did not want to suspend him. Senior, right? Captain of the team. Right. Backbone of the team. But as a coach, you got to be authentic. you got to be real or the players won't respect you. And he suspended this kid at the beginning of the year. And to this guy's credit, he looked in the mirror and said, okay, maybe I'm the dick here. Yeah. Maybe the coach isn't. Maybe I am. Just like um um, the what's his name for the for the Panthers the 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 quarterback, come on, come on, come on quarterback for the Panthers, Cam Newton. Cam Newton, yeah. yeah. Looked in the mirror and said, you know what, I need to change. If I'm gonna get anywhere, if this team's gonna get anywhere, I need to change. And he did, and he's been nothing but the shit yeah. from the day he came back. I love the story. I love what's going on with Florida. They got the size. I got they Florida got the winning. Depth. My winner's still there. I picked yeah. Florida from the beginning. Yeah, I'm going with Florida in this I'm going one. Going to Florida. Again, I think all these games are going to be close. It's been a fantastic final four How can they not be? Next game up here, Kentucky again, coming out of nowhere at number eight. But, you know, they're the top rate team going into the season. Cal Perry's got them rolling against Bo Ryan, Wisconsin over there. Could you have two more different teams My, you couldn't. ever? You couldn't. Ever? I mean, these two teams are the exact opposite 
and the style that Kentucky's they play. Kentucky's running gun. Wisconsin's yes. going to slow you down. Going to yes. work that inside ball to their two yeah. big white guys. Love the little and big white guys. I love them both. <laughs> <laughs> Quote me on that. Easy now. <laughs> but Kentucky, again, Saturday night, they're going to be back-to-back games here. Kentucky against Wisconsin. Who you got in this one? God, it's so hard. It's so hard to bet against Kentucky with the pedigree and, and, and the history and Calipari and the hit, you know, uh, everything that Kentucky, that blue. When you see that Kentucky blue, you know you're looking at Kentucky. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think Bo Ryan's got something going on with, 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 um, with uh, Wisconsin. I, I really do. I, I think they match up pretty well. I think they're going to frustrate Kentucky a little bit with that uh, uh, deliberate offense. I'm going to go with Wisconsin okay. in, in a, in a one-point game. You know, that, that's what I'm going with. <sighs> this is hard. I want to go with Wisconsin here, but I'm going to ride Kentucky. I really am. I'm just going to ride them till the end here. Well, I think it's going to be Kentucky. Hey, how can you go final. wrong? You know, this team's playing out of their mind right now. Uh, I'm going to ride as much as I like Wisconsin, but again, I think it's going to be a two-point game. I think both these games are coming down to the final minute. Absolutely. Whatever it's going to be. No, There's not going to be a blowout either way, mm-hmm. um, but it's going to be fantastic final four. It's going to be awesome. So, Okay, so you got you got, I got Florida, Florida playing Kentucky, and I got Florida playing Wisconsin. I, I had Florida beating you know Louisville overall, but I still have Florida beating Kentucky. No matter what, yeah. Florida's winning. I think Florida is the best yeah, team in the tournament. It's the best team in the yes. tournament. So. All right, guys, well, let's get into a little bit of some NHL this week on the SportsCast. And uh, we're going to cover our big NHL playoffs next week. Uh, on the ice, baby. Playoff start. Wow. Next week, knocker. It's going to be fantastic. Our Kings just locked it up against the Ducks. More than likely in the first round of the playoffs. It's going to be fun, fun and fantastic. But the story we're going to get to today is next week we'll have all of our playoff coverage is Johnny's Pittsburgh Penguins. <laughs> and Sidney Crosby going W. W. The e. mean, the mean man, the Sydney mean man, Crosby. Sydney Crosby. I ain't out taking there. no more shit. He ain't taking no shit from nobody <laughs> anymore. Now, Knocker, I posted this video on the NewSportsGuru.com. That was one of the best about, ones ever. A couple days ago. Yeah. Uh, also, I put a nice compilation of The Rock. And why? Yes. Why would I put Dwayne the Rock Johnson hmm, on there? I'm not sure. Well, um, in a game um, a couple days ago against the Hurricanes, Sidney Crosby. You know, he's pr- arguably the best player in the NHL. Guy probably gets uh, okay. more than likely you're sending out your goon to, to frustrate the hell out of Crosby, to rough him up, right. get in his face, frustrate him during the game. Well, Crosby, almost playing a full season this year and gone through it the past, you know, whatever seasons, mm-hmm. decide he's had enough and decide to take it on Jay Harrison, Carolina defenseman, and decide to give him the rock bottom during a game. <laughs> you can check out the video right here as you're watching live at the new sports crew.com. Knocker, check this out. He goes full on if you smell what The Rock is cooking on this guy. He just says, bitch. He says, I have had enough. <laughs> if you smell what The Rock is cooking. I'm telling you. Only thing missing is The Rock bottom, man. I, the I, people's I want, elbow. The people's elbow. You see, you do the people, you know, tap. Just do a little tap, tap, do the people's elbow on them. That's was the most it, awesome thing Pittsburgh? ever. No, the, uh, yeah, it's in Pittsburgh because yeah, they were in yeah, black. Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah. Look going, at that. Oh, he just done. sets him down, Johnny, man. The first time you've seen this, Johnny? Yeah. That's Isn't that awesome? awesome? That's awesome. I mean, Isn't it? If you smell <laughs> <you're somebody laughs> what the rock is cooking. That's right. I was waiting for him to climb up on the glass top rope style and just, you know, I'm do the flying you. slam, people's elbow. Crosby, totally give you the props on this, Absolutely, man. man. Like, really, you just were ready to he knock the fuck out of that guy. He's, my God, he's like, you know what? You got knocked the fuck out, man. <laughs> you got knocked the fuck out. A freaking bitch. freaking bitch. <laughs> way to go, Sydney, man. Seriously, way to, way to go, go Bubba. Sydney. All right, awesome. guys. Uh, you can cut, cut the music for me, John. We're going to get into a little bit of um, MLB here, Knocker. Opening. That was it? That was our hockey? <laughs> that, that was our hockey, hockey segment? <laughs> we only got an hour. We got 10 minutes left. Johnny, move the fan this way. I'm sweating balls. Can you? He's had the fan the whole show. Switch the fan for me. Kick, kick, kick me around over there. <laughs> Proto, oh. chi- Proto chimes in. There we go. There Proto we go. chimes in. Did Crosby just DDT someone in that game? Seriously. The fuck? <laughs> I, you have to go see the video to believe it. Because that's so un him. That's so not Crosby-like yeah. to do something like that. That was just awesome. I'm telling you. 
Yes, yeah, so that was our little bit of a hockey section. That, that was, was an awesome hockey section. We, we were, this is like a fast sports cast today. It's an hour show. We're getting through everything today. We're Stay with us, through. man. We're moving fast. We're opening moving day, though. We're moving fast. We just had opening day uh, right around. Uh, just happened a couple days ago. And most, our Angels are most already. Most bizarre opening day ever. Has been Mike Trout, though. First at bat goes yard. Yeah. John, you got the video. It's okay. What are you letting the dog out? Oh, MacGyver. Was he being a nuisance? Look at MacGyver. He's looking too many balls. He is. Well, you kind of wonder why Johnny's dog likes balls so much. <laughs> you kind of do. Really do, Johnny. Close doors, man. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Every dog likes balls. <laughs> especially when you put peanut butter yeah, on them, huh, Johnny? Johnny. <laughs> You're sick, man. You thought of it. You're sick. The sick thing is he's I didn't the, go he's there. the chunky peanut butter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Gives him the extra nut. Yeah. 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 Uh, a little extra friction. You're the ones you're thinking about. A little <laughs> extra <laughs> friction. <laughs> but right. the chunky the chunky feels better. If you're more like <laughs> we thought about you it, but he's sick. doing it, right? He you ain't denying. You guys are sick, man. You guys are sick. You guys are sick bastards. All right. What was it? Well, uh, Mike, Mike Trout. Mike Trout, Mike though. Trout. He blasted a first at bat knocker. I picked him on my fantasy yeah. team this year. He's my daughter's favorite player. Uh, probably going to be the runner for the MVP this year. No, he's going to win it this year. Signed a uh, again a, a six-year contract with the Angels a few days ago, but first at bat, good omen. For you know, pretty yeah. good sign, right? Yes. For the Angels. Yes, thought it was going to work well, man. Here we go. But not if you didn't see what happened before the game. This is the most bizarre thing I think I've ever seen. I'm serious. This this might be the most if bizarre. If you were more than likely, unless you're an Angels fan, you weren't watching this seen. video. But it's been trending, obviously, the last couple days. Uh, Dom Baylor, uh, an Angels legend, probably one of the toughest SOBs in all of baseball. No, not not one of the the toughest son he, of a I bitch. I believe he was hit, ever hit by a pitch more than any yes. other player and in he major never, league ever. Now this is my guy. He's my age, a little bit older. This is my guy. The only MVP DH in the history of baseball. He won the MVP with the Angels as a DH. This guy didn't matter where you hit him, how you hit him, how fast you threw the ball at him. He would just drop the bat, not even not even respect the pitcher enough to look at him. Yeah. And just walk to first base. Like, that ain't nothing, bro. So That's had, all you've got. So opening day, it's, it's a great day. It's a great stadium. day. I, my brother, oh, awesome. my brother in law went. He had Diamond Club seats so right behind yeah. the dugout, saw everything. And um Vladdy Guerrero's there, signs a one-day contract so he can retire as an yep. angel. So awesome. I mean, you're like, all right, this is going to just be a better year. Pools is healthy. Yes. Hamilton looks good. We just signed Trout. Yep. We're looking good. Vladdy's here. They have got some pitching. The atmosphere is fantastic. Throws out the first pitch, and Don Baylor's leg. If You can check, you can check out the video right now at thenewsportsgroup.com. We're playing it live. It just snaps. Um, it, it snaps high on the femur. Because Vladdy threw the pitch kind of low and to the right, so Don Baylor kind of had to reach down a little bit. But his right leg, standing almost on one knee, um, just buckles, and he breaks his femur. Like he, I thought he broke his ankle when I first saw this, because I was watching it live. No, I, I knew, I knew it wasn't like, a femur. It was your feet, the femur is your biggest, is your it's, hardest bone to break strongest in your body. bone in the body, yes. And he snapped this trying to catch a ball. But you know what? Don Baylor, man, he tried to walk this off. And you saw him try. Didn't like, he? And he's like, okay. Shake it off, he's man. Like, he's like, Vladdy. Walk it off. Vladdy, brother, I'm hurting. Get me to the dugout. Because he props up to you, Don Baylor. Yeah, he, you are what, at 80 years, whatever. How is oh, he 80 years old? No, he's probably about 65. But surgery supposedly went well. Everything went good. Right. So he's resting, doing better. So cheers up to you, Don Baylor. But well, I, insane. I heard he has a uh, he has a disease. Yeah, he, he oh, obviously he? has a bone disease. It, yeah. it, it's some kind of bone disease because there's he's no suffering. way that snaps from yeah. just that yeah, kind of say, stress. Drink, from, uh, drink some milk. Disease. Right. I don't know. I don't know what it's drink called. Drink some milk. But it was. I, I read it afterwards. I'm looking at this going. Now I'm an Angels fan from forever. Right. I'm going. My God, the black cloud still. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking DeSarcina and the worst one ever, Mo Vaughn, opening day. See, Twitter's chiming in and says that guy gets a Sissy of the Week award for breaking his femur during the first pitch. Sissy of the Week? Yeah. Fuck you. Oh. Dude, tried, dude tried to walk off the field oh. with a broken femur. Murder. Bitch, you try it. Wow. You break your freaking femur and tell me you ain't going to scream like a little girl. That man didn't do nothing. He sucked it up. Tried to stand up, He's, couldn't do it. Knocker just dropped a. Don't F even bomb call my show. man sissied up. He's, uh, 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 he's, first of all, he's 64 years old. Okay, oh, wow. Yeah, okay. exactly. Okay. And he's a survivor of multiple my, my own 
myeloma. Exactly. A cancer that attacks the bones. Right. Yeah, so what's so, yeah, Twitter guy? Yeah, the guy in Twitter. Who's this guy? You know what? Shit. And he's you had that since way. 2003. I've seen you before. You're the asshole on TV. Let me snap your femur and tell me you don't Thank pass you, out. Thank you for that research, Johnny Box. Appreciate that. Dude, I'm not digging that guy at all. I don't know who on that the guy scene is. all the time, Johnny Ice. I, <laughs> I don't know who this guy is, but this dude's way <laughs> off talking. base, man. This guy is way, way off base. And that's the bottom line. Butt knocker. That's right. I don't like this guy. Who is this guy? Cut him off. We won't mention it. Cut him off. We won't mention it. Cut him off. Twitter. We won't mention it. All right. But uh, anyway, but that's the Angels, dude. Weird crap happens I'm to the Angels, you. Then, man. But like, then Trout goes out, right? He hits that two-run bomb. Angels are up. Like, We're okay. good. Yeah, and what happened? We were on the mound. Si- yeah, give up six <laughs> runs in the ninth. Get blown out like 10-something. They have a sweep in the series. Uh, but and Puig now, going back to Puig. Right. Um, hits his first home run of the season. He's had a lot. John, you have that video as well. Um Puig Great call by Vinny, huh? Oh, Vinny, you got to hear the call. I posted it up on the new Oh, is it a bad, a bad video? Okay, yeah, it's bad. Don't throw it up then. <laughs> That's speedy style. Speedy <laughs> Gonzalez. You sell Puig, though. A lot of crap like, in the offseason. Uh, I think yeah. I see it. The thing is, <laughs> I think I see it. Is that a home run? <laughs> what do you think this guy does this year? In a nutshell, real quick. I want to get this last story before we go. Uh, I think the first half of the season is going to be a little rough, and I think the second half he settles down. Does he and, get it together? And, and he gets the numbers. Yeah, okay. I do. Yeah, All right. I do. Now, when it comes to last, I want to, I want to bring this up, guys. Again, we want to call real quick, 818-435-8423. Um, St. Louis Cardinals, Cincinnati Reds, two long, long-hated long rivalries. Heated, heated rival. rivalries. Yes, okay? this goes back 100 years. And, and if you've ever seen those 30 for 30s, or if you just watch baseball, you've seen what fan interference does to ball games. It's, yes. It can change a game. Absolutely. It's had... That's the Cubs. Monumental consequences yes, because of it. Absolutely. Where there's been a fan. No being, doubt about it. A fan being scapegoated for it, like in the Cubs situation, mm-hmm. uh, or a fan helping. The out. Oriole Yankee Oriole series. Oriole Yankee series. Yep. yep. Plenty of differences which a fan's interference happened. Now, we've had mm-hmm. our already three, four games into the 2014 season. We've already had our first instance. This broke just about an hour ago, so I'm glad I got it on before the show. <laughs> I have the uh, breaking news here on the sportscast. Um, breaking news. That's right. I posted the video. You can go check it out right it's now. It's so breaking. Why didn't you bring it up an hour ago? Who asked him? Is can you just run the board? Is he supposed to just push buttons? Right? Exactly. Is this the Johnny we have Guru the icebox and Bud Knocker right? show? The icebox is tonight. I thought it was right? sportscast hosted it's by not the Guru breaking and news. Bud Knocker. Are we, are, we are we segueing right into the icebox show? Because is that why he started? Should be, it why should are you be. so pissed off about it? We'll bring the news when we goddamn well are ready to bring the news. It should be Seriously. breaking news, but an hour and ago is breaking line. news. Because Stone Cold said so. That's right, dude. Because Stone Cold said so. We'll talk about things when In you the want words to of Maverick, show. I will bring it up when I'm goddamn okay, good and ready. ready. You got you that? You got that? You got it? Yeah. You got that? Yeah. Thank you. Can't wait to do something. Who is this guy? I don't know. Like, Where's he in? And, and he was just doing good. He got information. Exactly. Like, he got his information. Call it maybe hour hour ago breaking news. Back to my story. No All more right. G pen for him, okay? Cut him off. Right. He's an angry man. It's because he wears a rugby jersey. He thinks he's hard. Yeah. Hello. Hard? What? Let's keep moving on, Josh. Guys, this, this, guys. this show is dying right here. Let's go. It's like a whale on the beach right now. Let's go. This show never dies. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Cardinals and Reds game, though. Earlier today, Cardinals uh, first base and Matt Adams. Fly ball. First base side. Going for a foul ball. Johnny, you can throw it up for me. Um, fan right now. The ball's coming down right in that first row on the first base side knocker. Fan reaches up. Catches the ball. Matt Adams pushes the fan with his glove like, come on, right, man, you dude. interfere with me? Fan gives him back the middle finger. You can check out the videos right now as we're showing them live at the newsportsguru.com. Uh, also, a uh, Ustreaming live at uh, Icebox. Uh, is it Lucky Icebox, Johnny, on Ustream? Yeah. So um, check it out, though. Knocker, this is something that, that I don't know what you can do about this Well, you know what? No, no, Proto chimes in with, with not a bad idea. They need to put like a – he says one foot, but like a three-foot barrier between – you know where where the player can actually catch a ball right. and the first seat, and that, that's, that's a not a bad idea. I but they'll never do idea. it because it's money. 
So you got the Reds you fan. The you got the Reds back. fan who got pushed, but you know, not anything aggressive by Matt Adams. That's fucking baseball. It, it is baseball, but what I'm saying though, as a player, you can't push back a fan. The fan never d- did anything to you. He did. He got in my fucking way. But the ball's in my seat, dude. Dude, the you're ball's a base- in my seat. You're a baseball fan. You got to know if you're in the front seat. Don't <laughs> interfere with the game. It's it's just like a given. If you're in the first row. Don't interfere with the effing game. I'll give you the ball after uh, I catch you're it. You're not gonna give I'll me give the, you ball. the ball. You're gonna throw it back into the no, pitcher. No, I'll give you the ball. Don't interfere with the game, asshole. I'm not reaching over. This isn't a reach over circumstance here. Yes, it is. No, it's not. If you check it, the he's video, reaching over the dugout, and he could have caught the ball had the guy not interfered. He didn't reach, he didn't over reach that. out. He didn't it's right over. to him. It's if, above his head. If he, he lets it go, it hits him in the seat. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Or hits the seat behind him. Or hits the seat behind him. Then it's the little kid right behind him. He, he saved a it. little kid from getting hit That's in the how, face. Yeah, he saved a little kid. And Matt Adams has the gall to push Matt the guy. Matt Adams would have caught the ball. Fuck no. Adams. <laughs> Fuck the fan. What, you can't say that. I just did. Okay, well, what? if I'm a fan and you push me, I'm sorry, bro. You got There's some problems Well, there. no, he should not have made contact. He should have just looked the guy and said, you know, dude, dude, I could have had that. Yeah, whatever. He just pushed him. It's not like he punched him. No, but you can't touch a fan. I, touch I agree with fan. that. You cannot, you cannot physically make contact with a fan. So I agree with that. So what do they need that. to do to stop this? Well, maybe they need but to put nets up like, like in hockey. He was more like this. Man. No, I know that's what I'm saying. It wasn't aggressive. No, it, push. It, it, yeah, was, it, it wasn't was a, aggressive. It was a push like, asshole. It wasn't man. Yeah. It was like, it was asshole. Man. Yeah, I agree. Man. What are you doing, stupid? You caught my ball, dude. So, no. <laughs> maybe they need to put like a three-foot little chain link fence up there. To keep the fans away from that. I think they need to make that. a row in front where no one can sit. Money. Can't do that. So. What, what's a fence then? What do you mean money? No, you, you cannot give up that whole first row. That's where you charge the most money for people to sit. I the, understand the, that. If the new stadiums build build it to where that first then, row has no, a barrier. No, not going to happen. You, so what you do is yeah, you put yeah. like the hockey nets around. Oh, yeah, because yeah, now, around now, the now I'm not going to pay for that seat because I don't have a clear view. of. Oh, the, you of do. This. You can see through the net. Too bad. They use like more like fishing line than yeah, exactly. Than like the, the clear fishing line, yeah, exactly. Like a strong thing. Something more to obstruct my view of the game. It's not gonna, fishing line's not going to obstruct your view. Come on, you're four beers in. It could save <laughs> your life. It could save your life. It I'm just could. saying something needs to be done because this happens much too often. But it's baseball. That's one of the beauties of baseball. That's it's true. A, it's an oddball thing that yeah. happens in baseball that doesn't happen in any other sport. Yeah. Right? Doesn't well, happen of course, in like comes in, it comes down on Twitter. He's a Reds fan. Of course, he's going to F with the Cardinal. Like, yeah, if it's in another team stadium, right. I'm going to mess. I'm going to try and get that ball sure. and not make you catch but it. The, I mean, and, and I agree with him. Is that, that part of the game, though? Is that part of the game? Well, obviously it is. Obviously Should it, it is. Should be a part of the game? <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I like it. Should Really? I do. Fuck it. I like it. <laughs> Fuck it. So there's fan participation if now? you can't wrestle the ball away from the dude, fuck it. You don't get to catch it. Really? I, I, I Yeah, I'm with that. Because there's no other sport. You can start, Johnny. We're gonna, we're there's gonna go. no other sport where there is fan interference. There, There is none where the fans actually can interfere with the game. What, basketball? No. Come on. What, fan can interfere with a shot? No. Fan can interfere with some guy trying to save it? No. But if my beer's in the, if I put my beer like really close to the sideline and he steps on it. No, really. There's no, uh, there's no, 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 they can't interfere with. Fan interference? Yeah. No, no, no. But they don't interfere with the guy swinging the club. Once the guy swings the club and the ball's in the air. Yeah. If it, if he's so shitty, he hit a fan. Yeah. That's his fault. Try to do something. But you know, that fan could have stopped it from rolling completely Shut up, out of John. bounds. Shut up, John. <laughs> so what sport? What sport? Can the other sport? Can you do that? I love him. Right. That's producer Johnny right there. <laughs> Fuck you, knocker. <laughs> Fuck exactly. <laughs> I'll say it, Johnny, if you want. Fuck jo- you, knocker. Jo- Johnny knocker will fight after the show. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Thank you once again. Check Gla- out the ice box. Yeah, live check out wrestling. the ice box. Ice box tonight at seven thirty in about a half an hour. You can check it out. Luckyicebox.com. Ah. Uh, he's got the past 10 episodes up. He just put them up, so check them out today. Uh, hey, again, buy your, t-shirts. buy your T-shirts today yeah, at thenewsportsgrew.com. Men and women sizes available. Download on iTunes. Spread the word. Tell a friend. And be good people, guys. We'll be back next week with big shows on Tuesday. And six, Wednesday. Tuesday regular and Wednesday. Times. Regular times at 6 o'clock on Tuesday and Wednesdays. NHL and NBA playoffs. 
We'll be talking about it, that and more. We love you guys all. We'll be back next week.